the UK should prepare itself for an opening on another front of mass migration. Right guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, um, it's a very, very relevant story to me. It's um, basically Colombia, Colombian citizens have been granted visa-free entry into the UK. Now, it's a visitor visa, it's up to six months, um, and it's just been announced today or yesterday, but it's a, it's a fresh announcement. Um, quite peculiar, actually, it was announced by uh, Gustavo Petro, the new Marxist president for Colombia, he's trying to take credit for this, which is going to, you know, a lot of Colombians are going to be very, very happy about this. Um, but in truth, it was a, a project, post, pro, sorry, post Brexit project um, carried out between the British government, probably Boris Johnson's, and um, and Colombia's previous president, Ivan Duque. Um, nevertheless, this Marxist president is trying to take credit for it. Um, and it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna ride with a lot of low IQ, you know, not very clued up Colombians. They're gonna think this is basically all down to Petro, his new Marxist administration has granted them this access to a first world developed country. Now, the funny thing is, is that this ties in very much with what conservative, with the conservative government's agenda. Um, they want to increase trust. The current PM, if she's still PM when you watch this, um, has said basically that she wants to, or they, the conservative party, want to increase or grow the UK economy by basically welcoming in and driving mass migration into the country um, it's not very skilled migration i'm not going to try and talk down colombians or anything like that um, if you look at the uk now they're getting like something like a thousand a day 500 to a thousand a day um, criminals and migrants refugees if you want to call them that from the third world just crossing over in rubber dinghies getting picked up by the border force and chaperoned onto UK territory, onto the UK shores, and then bust out throughout little towns all across the country. Um, very, very expensive operation. Almost the same as what my other country, Germany. I'm a British German expat currently in Colombia, South America. Um, but it's an it's a expensive undertaking to welcome in the third world into your developed first world country. Um, you have to educate them they need they, they need a, a real sort of catch up with what's going on they most of these people couldn't even uh, read or write in their own languages forget about learning german any of these european languages um, it's a real expensive thing plus they're wholly culturally incompatible uh, to western civilization as we've seen uh, with the murder the rape and murder of lola by algerians in Paris, um, something you're not really going to hear much of in the mainstream media. But anyway, back to this. So, UK government, Conservative government, <clears throat> if you can still call them that, um, is looking at mass migration to grow, enlarge, um, forge forward a a more uh, productive UK economy. And it's difficult to kind of understand how that's gonna work. You just incorporate, you're just bringing in cheaper and cheaper labor, dog's bodies to, I don't know, make your Frappuccinos, your Starbucks coffees, um, clean up uh, the milk that these uh, vegan environmentalist protesters have poured all over Fortnum and Mason's red carpet. Um, that's all they're gonna really do. But anyway, We'll get back to Colombia because maybe it's a little bit harsh incorporating Colombians in with that whole mass migration kind of thing. Um, but I can tell you it is going to be a godsend for a lot of Colombian nationals. Um, 
how can I put it? Uh, Colombia is a developing country. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a third world. It's not a first world country. It's more of a second world developing economy. Um, and you've got some very, very highly educated Colombians here. Um, to be honest, the most educated um, intellectuals, most well off from the higher up classes are pretty much fine in the country as it is. They've got holiday homes in Miami. Um, they go on skiing holidays throughout South America, down in Chile. Um, and they're not as strange to, you know, taking a vacation in Italy and, you know, Venice and Paris and stuff like that. So it's not odd for them, but, but this is really gonna appeal to maybe more of the middle class Colombians. Um, and maybe some lower class ones as well it's difficult for there's a lot of poverty here um, it's difficult for the lower class colombians to actually even get the ticket to come over to europe or even usa um, i don't know unless they're doing a drug run or something like that but anyway that, that doesn't happen as much as you'd think it does um, so the middle classes these are colombians that how can I say, unless they do it very young to, I don't know, they want to learn English in, in the USA or in, in Great Britain or in Australia. Uh, if they're sort of more middle-aged, um, you know, maybe they found that their career is not going as they planned. Uh, they've racked up a, a, an immense amount of debt here in, in Colombia. Uh, these are the people who are going to be looking at jumping ship and switching from Colombia and trying to make a way in the UK uh, if they do it this way, entering into the UK on a visitor visa and then absconding, uh, they're going to be full on illegals. And to be honest, that's not too hard in the UK. There's no ID cards. Uh, no one really checks. And then you've got NGO organizations, you've got activist groups in the UK that uh, will actively help you out, help you get those, uh, you know, uh, get you enrolled in a, in, in a local surgery, in a medical surgery, so you get access to doctors, dentists, um, they'll get you cleaning jobs on the high street in Oxford Street uh, or in some, you know, some rich person's home um, cleaning or cat sitting or something like that. Um, what they might do is, uh, you know, they might join um, the UK's existing uh, Colombian immigrant Populations, you get them around Elephant Castle, you get them in, around Brixton as well in London, uh, and they're spread out throughout the, the country in various other big cities like Manchester and so on. Uh, you can find um, small Colombian communities over there. Now, they're not the best of the best, I'll be honest. Um, a lot of them highly educated, uh, they'll be doing fine, they'll sort of come over to the UK, take what they can, integrate, get a, a, a a professional job maybe um, find a local partner of some kind marry and then integrate totally fine and and the good thing about Colombians are that they are a Western people so uh, they're clued up on the idea of democracy they're clued up on uh, you know the Ten Commandments they're very sort of Christian so they'll, they'll know uh, not to have more than one wife, for example, and, you know, um, not to kill and steal and that kind of stuff. Um, uh, and then they're, they're, they're ready to go with the basis of law and how you handle yourself in a country itself, uh, such as Western Europe. Um, one, well, to be honest, you're going to get, it's not too good for the UK. You're going to get a lot of people that couldn't just make it here in Colombia trying their luck in the UK. Um, a lot of them, I can tell you from my conversations with people down here, is a lot of them are aspiring to emigrate to the USA. Um, but there's a whole load of, you know, uh, issues with documentation and stuff like that in the US. Uh, even just getting in as a visitor is very hard, okay? But with this blanket visa free travel visa visa into the uk a lot of people are going to be switching their sites from the usa to the uk um, and they're going to abscond you know with the existing uh, support structures that they have from colombians that made the, the the journey beforehand so they'll sort of be off and up and running straight away um, so i guess 
you've got a whole load, uh, a new segment uh, of immigrants on the way to the UK now again. I suppose it's kind of fair. Uh, as a Brit, you can enter, well, pretty much any country, any citizen can enter into Colombia on a 90 day visa and you can renew that. So you get the six months as well. It's pretty much the UK offering back to Colombians uh, what the Brits were getting in the first place. Now, whether or not that's fair, I don't know. UK is a first world country, supposedly still is, uh, and Colombia is very much a developing country. Um, Colombians are gonna have access to an infrastructure, very expensive infrastructure, roads, rail, transport, um, standards of medicine very very you know uh, it's a it's it's a very very developed country the UK in comparison to Colombia um, the downside here as well is like I said you're not gonna probably get the best Colombians uh, but there's something happening here in Colombia between Venezuela they've opened up the borders it's making it easier for Venezuelans of some Colombian descent, one of their parents, a lot of Colombians emigrated into Venezuela when times were hard here in Colombia, and they sort of did, you know, lower, um, lower market jobs in Venezuela, and they sort of integrated, became Venezuelan, um, but now a lot of them are finding their Colombian roots and obtaining Colombian citizenship, and that is going to grant them um, a way into into Europe, into the UK, uh, when a lot of them I know have been sweating, working hard to go on the United States immigration route. Uh, so a lot of them are going to switch, a lot of them utilize that Colombian ancestry that they've had and with the new visa free travel, they're going to take it. So not only are you going to get um, middle class Colombians, you're going to be getting a lot of lower class Venezuelans and we know that these guys uh, don't always make the best democratic choices in the past. Uh, they can be swayed by freebies uh, as Hugo Chavez was offering them, um, socialized everything. Uh, so if they do make it over to the UK um, and uh, they do get naturalized as British citizens one way or another, um, you kind of know wink wink which way they will be voting anyway i'll leave it there let me know if you're a colombian and you disagree with me i, I know you probably could be angry now after everything i've said uh, don't get me wrong there's a lot of good colombians i'm enjoying colombia myself um, you just got to be honest as to the differences between a first world nation and a developing second world nation okay there's no way other way around it guys um, let me know what you think down in the comments stay tuned for an announcement over and out Hello, what are you doing there? Oh, what am I doing? I'm just taking some time out to post exclusive content to my Telegram channel. You're welcome to join. There's a link down below in the description or just do a search for inverted podcast in your Telegram app. It's free. You get direct access to me. There's uh, exclusive live streams, on the spot videos, discussions, polls. Uh, funny memes, news, breaking news, all that kind of stuff. It's all here for free. Um, and what's best is you get direct access to me. So head over there now. Links down below. Inverted podcast in the Telegram app. And subscribe. I'll see you there. Head over there now. Go down, go down. Go down to the description. Telegram, inverted podcast.